Welcome to the first official update video on the Michelle Pfeiffer 1992 Catwoman six scale figure development cycle. So for the people who are new to jazzing, this is how we do it. We make videos. I have been updating a lot already in the closed Facebook group. So if you're interested in this figure, become a member of the jazzing dioramas closed Facebook group and you'll get a lot more information a lot sooner and you can give a lot more feedback, but please comment on this video as well if you see stuff. I will explain the progress that we have been making. So the incredible Sean Dabbs has been sculpting like crazy. And here you see the first, what is basically the most neutral and standard head sculpt that will come with the clean Catwoman. So let me explain to you what we're working on. This is um, this is already about a month old. We're working on a couple of different expressions for both the clean figure that we will be releasing as well as the battle damaged Catwoman figure that we will be releasing. You will see examples of both. But there have been questions about this, so let me explain. We will be making two figures, basically. There's going to be a basic line of both the clean and the battle damaged Catwoman. That is the one we were uh, aiming for, $300. It will be a full six scale figure, custom body, custom outfit, custom corset. Then there's going to be a single head sculpt, eight gloved hands with 10 different claws, one for each finger, a whip, and a stand. Then for both, we will also be making the Ultimate DX, which will include three head sculpts, the gloved hands, the whip, and all that sort of thing, but also a snow stand with a light up hell here diorama and a taser and cats with a snow base. Now, the price for that will be determined, and then there's going to be the two pack for that. The price will also be determined, and that is basically two Ultimate DXs, so the Ultimate DX Clean and the Ultimate DX Battle Damaged in one with a slight discount for buying both at the same time. So I hope that explains the intention and how we plan to market this figure. Now let's go back to the development. Now one thing to note as I can hear you thinking over there, no there's not going to be a two pack for the basic version because our margins will be very slim on that one. So that means no discounts which means why make a two pack if you want two of the basics just order both. So like I said we will be developing a custom seamless body for all figures. The body will be the same for both the basic and the DX version of the figure of course. We will be working with a seamless Fison or Fison like so we're checking out different suppliers it either it's going to be Fison or uh, another supplier that we're talking to that will be a custom body shaped to the exact dimensions of the Michelle Pfeiffer body around the Catwoman era we will also be working towards having as much posability as possible so including posable boots and like I said, the custom claws and in the movie, every single finger had a different claw. And thank you to Full Metal Customs. We have these very cool metal claws that we are working on. Here you see a first example of a seamless body with the pants that we've been working towards developing. The weird thing here is that on set, Michelle Pfeiffer was actually sucked into or vacuum sucked into her costume before each take. And then basically after a take or maybe two, that suit would be ruined. So we have to do better. And now this is the only time where six scale might work in my advantage because relatively speaking, the wall thickness of the material will be thicker in six scale and make it stronger. But as you can see, and this is also thanks to the posable uh, body, the material that we found is not very restrictive, nor does it bunch up or look very unnatural. So we're very happy with how that looks. We've been working a lot for the Ultimate DX version on different expressions. Now there's basically going to be six sculpts, right? So there's going to be the clean version. So for the clean Catwoman, the three sculpts will be the neutral expression, the tongue out, and the third, which I'm going to call the meow look. You'll see that later. Battle damage, it's going to be more extreme so this is already old news what you're looking at here we've gotten much further and more beyond this for the actual sculpts that we're going to show you so here is the v1 version of the basic sculpt that will come with the basic version of the clean catwoman i hope you can still follow but we've gotten a lot of feedback where we tweaked it uh, so we need to change the holes, we need to change the nose, uh, uh, basically a lot of stuff. So let me show you the updated version of that. 
Here is the updated version of the clean sculpt, which will be included in both the basic and DX version of the clean Catwoman. Here you see the second sculpt for the clean Catwoman Ultimate DX only, so that you can do a licking pose as well. We've also listened to the feedback for the diorama so that it is smaller and more usable. As you can also see, we really like the idea of magnets in the base, but it shouldn't be limiting. So Inigo Gill, who actually designed everything surrounding the diorama for the Catwoman, he came up with this magnet system for 15 magnets in the base that allows you to put Catwoman in many different positions. It's also been made smaller with the light up hell here signs, actual cats that will be included and probably some actual curtains as well. So here is the first attempt at a leather corset and we were not happy with how that looked so we developed a new one. Uh, here you see one more picture of the full metal custom claws and a couple of the expressions you will see a few more hands later in the video so moving on to the three expressions three heads that will be included in the battle damaged ultimate deluxe version including this one which was requested a lot and if you see the final results you will be very happy because it looks even better than you're seeing here in the design here you're seeing steps of the paint process by the incomparable Viola Vitroca. So here are some steps towards getting to the three sculpts that will be included with the Ultimate DX version of the Battle Damaged, because these are all three Battle Damaged sculpts, the most neutral of which will be included in the basic. And if you want all three, then you will have to get the Ultimate DX version. Here you see the first test pieces printed for the Hell Here diorama bases, again coming with the Ultimate DX version. We currently have Marcel Salza making 3D prints and testing and making an actually painted and weathered version of the DX only Hell Here diorama. You're seeing the back wall, the snow piece that'll be included. And then for the basic and DX, here is the battle damaged sculpt again it's the most neutral of the facial expressions that will be included in the basic version that you can buy and then for the ultimate dx there will be more severe expressions if you know what i'm saying so for the battle damaged version the mask will be a bit torn just like you see in the movie actually there's going to be differences between the three max of the three uh, battle damaged version because as you can see here with sculpt 2 which is a dx only sculpt there's a difference in the mask expression and the hair that's included now one of the questions that i've also been getting is whether or not we will do sculpted hair and for now Everything is, of course, subject to change during this development cycle, but for now, we will only be doing the rooted hair like you see here for the battle damaged version and not a sculpted version. We already have too many different versions, and I think this just looks much better, much more realistic, and you don't have the Barbie hair or Barbie doll effect at all. So that's why we choose to do the sculpted hair only on the battle damaged version of course on the clean version there's no hair at all so don't have to worry about that then moving on to the third sculpt for the battle damaged version again dx only this it's it's going to be a bit more divisive because it's such an expression but it's also so classic especially if you put that exact freeze frame next to it I think Sean uh, and of course Viola did an absolute amazing job. Uh, like I said, I understand that this will be a bit more divisive, which is why we're including it in the DX only because most people loved it when we posted this in the Facebook group online and on Instagram. But there were some people who thought it was just too much. Again, I understand. But um, yeah, this is this to me is the angry end of the movie battle damaged Michelle Pfeiffer and that's actually how I plan on displaying it. I personally like the more out there expressions because it it really gives something unique because the neutral expression is what you see for all figures even cheap toys but something like this with that beautiful mouth and teeth and that hair it is just something absolutely exceptional to me. So all three sculpts in a row then for the battle damaged 
Ultimate DX on the left, Sculpt 3, most extreme in the middle, Sculpt 2, a little bit more neutral, but still angry, and then on the right, Sculpt 1, which is basically the most neutral, so included in both Basic and Ultimate DX battle damaged versions. So here you see Sculpts reversed, Sculpt 3 on the left, Sculpt 1 in the middle, and Sculpt 2 on the right. So each one is subtly different. The mask will sit differently on the nose, just like it did in the movie in different scenes. We've tried to incorporate that. Slight differences, not only in the expression and the hair, but also in the masks and the, and the way we are processing that. Now, a couple of points to make here about both the expression, the fact that we can do three heads, and that's all down to the fact that for now, we're not going to be doing the movable eyes. For the same price as the movable eyes, we can do three head sculpts. The three head sculpts then don't have to be as neutral to accommodate the rotating eyes and make them usable, but really do more extreme expressions. However, as we've seen with the 1989 Batmobile, and I'm expecting the same thing here, the popularity and increase in orders might mean that I can revisit the rotating eyes or maybe even offer a second body for the DX version. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I was not happy with the leather corset. So here is a sculpted corset. It really allows us to control the shape, the folds, the exact look of all the seams, and it just looks much more accurate and it is more durable than for the different hands. Here you see the hands without the metal claws. There will be many expressions in the different hands so that you can point at stuff, but also have them so that you can put them arms on hips or hands on hips kind of poses that will also work if you want to use that same hand to wrap around Batman's neck, for instance, or if we ever do a Max Shrek or something, you can use it that way. The hands will work for pointing, of course, also for holding the whip and the taser, which is included in the Ultimate DX version. So as you can see, a lot of different sculpted hands, different poses, and different glove and glove patterns. Happy with how that is turning out. And then here, two more sculpts for the clean. So I told you about the updated sculpt for the neutral basic sculpt you're seeing here on the right, as well as the second sculpt with the tongue out for the licking. So this is hot off the press uh, as of today. The prints have been done and Viola will be painting those for the clean version as well as the third head sculpt for the clean version later. We hope to be able to open pre-orders at the end of September with all the changes and updates and additions that we've been doing. So here you see Viola showing off the printed licking sculpt. Again, I love this one. Uh, I will be posing the clean one licking herself because again, it's so iconic and out there. Or maybe I'll just have her licking Batman. That could be cool as well. All right, so you like to be taken behind the scenes. This is an interesting process to see how this could also go wrong. So someone suggested in the group for the third sculpt to use this very iconic meow face and do that as the basically the third sculpt for the Ultimate DX. So for the past couple of days, maybe week, we've been going back and forth and Sean has been working on this. I've been photoshopping it and uh, going back and forth to get uh, more and more accurate as you can see we're not quite there yet here here we are getting a bit closer and then when you put the side by side this is where we were yesterday so we were really quite close and i've been postponing this video to show this specific sculpt but then look what happens when you put it head on if you change that angle it's just a weird looking sculpt so <laughs> you can see how a great idea can sometimes completely backfire. In one of the interviews I've done recently, I've said that we must have done like a 10 sculpts already. So yeah, back to the drawing board. We're going back to the meow thing, but later in that scene. So if we look at this sequence closely and more in slow motion, I think at the end of the meow with clenched teeth, that'll look better. So how does that look in a 3D sculpt? Well, here you see that teeth closer together and I think it's dead on accurate. And if you look at it from the front, what I like about this is it is the meow face. It's half a smile, but also a sneer, which really works on its own as well, which is important for a head sculpt, I think. All in all, I've got a really special feeling about this project, maybe even more so than the 1989 Batmobile, and that's saying something. So please support us and let's see what we can push this thing.